said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. We spend our lives here on this earth trying so hard to just survive when all we've got to do is trust God. That's all we have to do is put our trust in Him. And He tells us that all through His Word. Put your hands together right now, if you will. Make welcome Brother Corbin Whitaker as he sings for the glory of the Lord. Brother Corbin. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When the church gets back to what God's Word says, when we get back to the Word of God, then this country will get back to where it's supposed to be. But the children of God are not teaching the children 
what the Word of God says. We're not teaching our youngsters what the Word of God says. And we need to know that God is in control of everything. It's not Allah. It's not Buddha. It's not all these other fake gods that, uh, that's out there. It's God Jehovah is in charge. He's in charge of everything. Jesus Christ did it all. When he looked to hell, hung on the cross and looked up to the Father, he said, it is finished. It's a completed deal. He bore the stripes for our healing. He, he said, I'll give you power. And that's something I want to talk to the church about today. I talk about it all the time, and it doesn't seem like, it sounds like it's hitting on empty ears or on stopped up ears. I don't know what it is. But the power that God has promised us is what we need in this last day. He said, I give you power to tread on scorpions and serpents and over all the enemy. Do you understand what Jesus promised us in Luke 10, 19? Look it up in your Bible. He said, I give you power that you might tread over all the enemy. He said, I give you power over all the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you. Nothing's going to harm a child of God. And that power that he gives us, when you wake up in the morning, the power is all over you. And when you walk to the kitchen, the power is all over you. And when you come to work or go to school or wherever you're going, the power is all over you. And listen, no matter where you go, you can't get rid of the power. When you come to church Sunday morning, the power is all over you. And when you go home, the power is all over you. And when you lay down at night in your bed, in the comfort of your own home, the power is all over you. Because the power is the gift of God. And God doesn't give you something and take it back. He gave me eternal life, and he's not going to take it back. He said, I give you life and give it to you everlasting. I said, say eternal, everlasting life. He didn't say he's going to give me eternal life for six months. He said, I give you life. And that power, church, is what's lacking in the community today. We've got to the point that we believe everybody but God. And God's saying, listen, you need to look at my word, and you need to stand upon my word, and you need to walk in my word. And I, and I was looking for another scripture a while ago, but I'm going to start out with this one in Luke 11, uh, excuse me, Mark 11, 24. I've, I've, I've said this scripture so many times. But joining by television, somebody's hurting. Somebody is at the end of your rope. You don't know which way to go. But look at what it, Mark 11, 24 says. And let's just forget about all of the stuff around us. But look at what Mark eleven twenty four says. And if you don't have a Bible in here, you need to reach up in the chair in front of you, the pew in front of you, and get one. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Because you need to know what the Word says, not what I say it says. Therefore I say unto you, and this is Jesus Christ talking, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe. The key word is believe, not just prayer. Well, anybody can pray, even though you may not pray well or you may pray a highly sophisticated prayer or an in-depth prayer. That's not going to get you answers. You've got to believe. And when you pray, believe that you receive them. Just believe that you're going to receive it, that you've already received it. And you shall have them, the desires of your heart. I don't know how else to say this except, church, we're letting God down. Every day we let God down. Every day we let Jesus Christ down because God said, I give you something. He said, I'll not leave you comfortless. I'll give you the comforter. And the church today has gotten so far away from the comforter. And for those of you joining by television, every Sunday morning I give a, a list of, uh, of the scriptures that have been left out of the King James, or left out of the, on the, uh, the NIV and all these other Bibles that need to go in the trash. The King James Version is the only translated version of the Holy Bible, and there has been over 66 verses left out of the NIV all along. And not counting the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of words that have been left out or changed. And I give a list every Sunday.